I just got out of the massive Hall H Warner Brothers panel where we saw a lot of new looks at their upcoming slate of movies. You, yes you, can already see some of those online including new trailers for Aquaman and Godzilla King of the Monsters, but we saw a lot behind closed doors that you probably won't see until the movies come out. So included in all those exclusive looks was a quick Lego Movie Part 2 scene, which was a look at Chris Pratt's second character in Part 2 of course, which is sort of a pastiche of all of his other movie characters that include Star-Lord, the Jurassic World Raptor Man, and a few others. It's really cute, really funny. On the more serious side of things, we also got a look at Johnny Depp's Grindelwald as he actually came out on stage in character and gave a big sermon about sort of his mission statement in Fantastic Beasts 2. Spoilers, he believes wizards, uh, they're deserving a more higher power, so uh, look forward to him not treating other people who don't believe the same exact thing not too well. But in addition to that, we also got our first look at Wonder Woman 1984. Now keep in mind, this movie is only three and a half weeks into production. They should not even have footage they want to show us. That is insane, but we got to see maybe about a minute or two of footage. It was really cool. The first part was Wonder Woman coming into a mall to stop two gun-toting sort of low-level lackeys. Uh, she easily kind of breaks apart their guns, lassos them up, and jumps off a ledge in this mall which is full of bright 80s pinks and grays. She jumps off the ledge with the two of them tied together and just slams them into the side of the ledge. It's really cool, really awesome. But in that scene you also see the warmth and the kindness of her strength. As she saves a young little girl who was sort of in the line of fire, she pushes her politely and safely, don't worry, out of the way into the arms of a giant nice teddy bear. Uh, it's very cute, it's very awesome, and it's great to see all of that in one scene together, which should be no surprise from Patty Jenkins, but we also see a quick snippet of Wonder Woman sort of speedily running through the streets of possibly DC, possibly another location in the film. You get a sense of just the bright color scheme this movie is going to bring. I can't wait to see more of it and what they're really going for with this 80s aesthetic. They talked a little bit about how they want to show the best and the worst of America, which they feel the 80s really encapsulated. So I'm excited to see more of that. We also got to see a lot more of Aquaman. You may have seen the new trailer online, but we saw a huge extended action sequence as well as a few other scenes, including Nicole Kidman, who is Aquaman's mom, kicking butt. Uh, it was awesome. Nicole Kidman should be in more action movies. It was really cool. Uh, but in addition to that, we also saw an extended fight scene with Aquaman and Mera being chased by Black Manta and his henchmen. It is a really cool, really intense action scene. Now, if you know James Wan, the director of the film, his other films include The Conjuring and, of course, Furious 7, one of my favorites. He knows how to do really cool, really long tracking shots. It's really just really hard-hitting angles. And so you get a lot of that as Aqu Aquaman and Mera are running along sort of the rooftops of this village. It's unclear exactly where it is. They're running along the rooftops or through little apartment buildings and just every hit hits, the slams hit so hard. The action is intense. The ray gun blast from Black Manta and his henchmen feel lethal. They feel strong and that's really cool in the sequence, especially because for a little bit of it, the camera never leaves Mera as she's running along the rooftops, but then it slowly pulls away to another rooftop where Aquaman is trying to hide near this giant bell and of course has to leap off just at the last minute to save himself. It is a really cool really intense scene. We also get a bit of Aquaman and Mera's sort of chemistry. They really have a great sort of tete-a-tete -tete humor with each other. It is awesome to see and I hope the movie is full of much more of that. Of course you can see the new Aquaman trailer on IGN but for everything else from the WB panel and from San Diego Comic-Con 2018 you're already in the right place. IGN.